Got in some great training this last week. And I'll start out by saying, I haven't gone this heavy on bench press in probably nine months. Which shows you why I have a level of frustration when people feel that they need to max out every week. Previous PR was 465 for a double. So I hit it. Went good. So figured, what the heck, let's do it again. Then I realized I wasn't pressurizing my abdominals properly. So I figured, let's do that. And bam! There's set three. Fastest set so far. Now, I will admit, my bench press does need quite a bit of cleanup work if I ever plan on getting on the uh, platform again. Um, these are just not clean and haven't been for a while, just been focusing on bar speed. Wednesday, I came into squat. I was really late to the gym, only had a little bit of time, so uh, it was a rushed workout. I was dehydrated and cramping, and weights just felt like they were going to crush me. Enough excuses, right? So, decided to do some volume work instead of uh, going heavy. And I ended up getting in some pretty good work. So this was supposed to be my uh, work set here and uh, moved fast, moved good. Got uh, eight solid reps in, all good depth and figured uh, I would uh, go ahead and move the weight up a little bit and took it up to uh, 8.15 at lockout. Uh, last week I was doing 8.50 uh, for triples. So I hit uh, two sets of five and uh, felt solid. This is my third and final week of uh, overload safety squat bar. So we'll be getting back to uh, some other normal form of squatting uh, coming up soon. But it feels like I got a lot out of the last few weeks. Definitely made some good progress over the, uh, the first week where I started from. And I didn't get any assistance work in this day, but I have my normal Thursday day scheduled. So I came in and in my circuit I did uh, four sets of 30 uh, band hamstring curls and four sets of 20 with the stack on uh, leg extensions and then some upper body stuff not to mention that the volume that I got in this night of squatting was pretty substantial so that probably did uh, a good training effect there pulling doing a one and a half inch deficit I like that and this right here is the most I've pulled with the hook grip Felt good and solid, but uh, I did start degloving my left thumb, so it's going to take me a few weeks to get better there. Bumped the weight up, see how that felt, and wow, this was slow and heavy. That was a lot of weight for a deficit, and uh, took it out of me. Kept waiting for it to get easier, but those damn chains kept kicking in. Then I'm moving on to bent over rows, and uh, debated about what to lift, and figured, what the hell, let's do 585 and just see if I can do one. These get exponentially harder when you're dealing with this kind of weight, trying to stop it and then reverse. Especially, I mean, look how close that bar comes to the floor on those. So I was pretty happy and then moved back to the 495. Hitting 12 reps this week was much harder than last week. Getting the stomach on all of them, getting some good depth on the bar. You can see how close it's getting to the floor. The 585 were not the greatest with touching my stomach. Then finished up with four sets of pull-ups. Pretty straightforward uh, back sessions for me, but overall, they've been hitting me pretty good. I mean, for example, my, my adductor, my glutes, my lats were all cramping on me later in the day. Now, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've got a lot more instructional videos coming on the way, lots of good stuff, and check out my website, kabukiwarrior.com.